Okay, guys, this is a uh, slide nine um, in our progressive unit, the split. Slides nine and ten are really kind of one big topic. This should be a fairly short slide. Ten's going to be long, I'll just tell you now. Um, but nine kind of sets the stage for ten. So let's, let's look at uh, slide nine here. Okay? Pinchot-Ballinger dispute. All right. There's an argument here involving Taft. Taft gets caught in the middle. Um, it involves two people here that we need to remember. Uh, one's new, one you've heard of. The first, Gifford Pinchot. He was the head of the Division of Forestry. Uh, remember him, Roosevelt's Environmental Conscience, uh, Conservation of Nature and all that. Uh, Pinchot is a is, is a big Roosevelt guy. Roosevelt appointed him. Pinchot is one of Roosevelt's most trusted, right? Ballinger, right? Richard Ballinger, was the Secretary of the Interior, right? and the Interior Department is in charge of national parks, right? So you got a guy here representing the forestry uh, in Pinchot and the national parks in Ballinger. Right? Um, Ballinger, even though he's the head of the interior, he's not really an environmental guy. He's a business guy. Um, and Ballinger opened public lands in Wyoming, Montana, and Alaska for businesses to mine. He gave mining companies access to public lands. Okay? Pinchot goes nuts. Uh, starts screaming to the press and anybody that listen that the Secretary of the Interior is selling out the environment to big business. Right. Um, Taft fires Gifford Pinchot, one of Roosevelt's favorites. Right. Now, Roosevelt returns. He comes back. He has been on safari in Africa during the first uh, year or so of Taft's term. Comes back to find out that Taft has betrayed him. Um, he's undone all of these good things that Roosevelt worked to do. Taft has now fired Pinchot. Uh, Roosevelt returns and goes on the offensive. He starts campaigning. Um, Republicans, progressive Republicans, are thrilled Roosevelt's back. Uh, conservative Republicans, who liked the direction Taft was taking, more pro-business, hated that Roosevelt was back. But Roosevelt goes campaigning here on what he calls his new nationalism. You see the book up here in the top right corner. Roosevelt's New Nationalism, where he starts preaching the old progressive message. Powerful federal government, um, uh, reigning in businesses, uh, more progressive reforms, help for the workers, and all of that. Okay? So the Roosevelt, or the Roosevelt, sorry, I'm looking at the word Roosevelt there. The Republicans are now divided, okay, heading into midterm elections. Remember, midterm elections happen in the middle of a president's term. Uh, Congress, of all of the House and a third of the Senate, gets reelected. Thanks to the division amongst the Republicans, they are going to take huge hits in the midterm elections. They're going to lose control of the House and only have, I think, either a one- or a two-seat majority in the Senate. So uh, the Republicans are going to take a huge hit here um, in the midterms, okay? Now, um, that sets the stage for our upcoming presidential election in 1912, right? In 1911, the progressive Republicans get together and decide they need to nominate their own candidate, okay? And we go back to state-level reformer, Wisconsin governor, fighting Bob La Follette, Robert La Follette, if you recall him from earlier in this unit. Here you see a picture of Bob down there looking all angry, ready to fight, talking into the microphone. Yes, that's a microphone. Um, La Follette is tabbed to be the progressive Republican nominee um, in 1912, the presidential election. So that gets us to the convention here in 1912. Okay? Roosevelt has contacted uh, several state governors to tell him that if he is called upon, he will serve. He will be the Republican nominee. 
La Follette believes he is going to be the Republican nominee um, because progressivism is still popular and he wants to, he, he thinks he's going to be the guy. Roosevelt has told the Republicans he's willing to serve. So the Republicans get together in 1912 and they'll nominate neither one of them. Uh, the progressive movement has left the Republican Party. Um, they want to get back to the old conventional way of doing things. Uh, so the Republicans are going to stick with Taft, leaving Roosevelt to fight his own fight. <laughs> 